Finally, Mr Speaker, um, this government is proud to be taking such a significant step forward towards redefining its relationship with Queensland's First Nations peoples all across this country in every single dialogue with government, state and federal. Three common themes have been echoed for generations, for decades. Voice, treaty, truth. It has been a powerful and consistent call. Today, the Queensland Parliament, as we sit here in regional parliament in Cairns in far north Queensland, we deliver commitment to two out of three pillars of the Uluru Statement. On this day, the 10th of May in the year 2023, we pass into law, treaty and truth. I commend the bill to the House. <clears throat> the question is that the bill be now read a second time. Those of the opinion say aye. aye. Those against no. I think the ayes have it. A division has been called. Ring the bells. Please close the bars. The question is that the bill be now read a second time, for which a division has been called. Members are reminded that they must be in their allocated seats. Members reporting votes, please rise. Will the government whip please advise what the government votes are for the ayes or noes? 49 ayes, Acting Speaker. Will the opposition whip please advise what the opposition votes are for the ayes or noes? 33 ayes, Acting Speaker. 33. Will the clerk please report the votes of other parties and members? Catters Australian Party, three noes. Queensland Greens, two ayes. Pauline Hanson's One Nation, one no. Independent member for Noosa, one aye. The result of the decisions is ayes 85, noes 4. The question is resolved in the affirmative. There being five members, uh, fewer than five members voting for the uh, noes, the question is resolved in the affirmative in accordance with Standing Order 10610. I call the clerk.